morning, afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome to another video. A bit of a different one today. I am, well, first thing I'm late, as always. But I'm actually going um, on a fat bike. Now, I don't really know what a fat bike is. Um, not used to anything really other than being on road. Got a treacherous friggin' path. Look at this. Balinese construction work. Um, so I'm actually going cycling on a fat bike up a volcano. Actually, you can't see it in the background. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty excited, and we'll explain a little bit later. So it's about 7.30, and before I can do anything, I function, I need some food, and I need a coffee. And there's no better place to have breakfast than a place called Monsieur Spoon in Bali. And this guy's a cyclist, he knows what he's doing. He does the best chocolate almond croissants in Bali. Fat. Hello. Um, no chocolate almond croissants yet. Okay, disappointing no chocolate armor croissant but I have my coffee and some food so yeah a bit about what I'm doing today so the guy I bought my bike off Pete he owns a bike shop in Sonor which is about an hour from here and he's invited me to come on his lava bike tour so basically I'm gonna go cycling up a volcano Volcano, but this is what I'm going to be riding for the day. This is a bit of a beast. Got no idea about any of the technology in this thing. Way out of my comfort zone, but it's a fat bike. Hopefully, going to be taking me up the volcano. 14? 14 kilometers. Yeah, 14 kilometers. Up and down. It's, uh, no technical yeah. climb at all. Is it all off road or is it on a track? Uh, off road, on the road. All off road. Yeah. Because uh, this lava used to be like a like a mining. Okay. Cool. Let's go. Cycling on the volcanic lava with the volcano. There you go. Pretty surreal scenery around here. It's, uh, it's like being on a different planet. Let's have a look. Something like moon. Yeah. Superman planet. <laughs> Looking pretty funky with a helmet, right? background we've got Lake Batur the other side so we've got Kintamani which is what I climb up regularly so that's the ridge of Kintamani at the back so yeah something completely different for me but awesome so I think we're gonna head off back down grab some lunch and then we're gonna head up there I think or maybe we're gonna head up there now not sure but yeah epic day so far see you later
for some lunch and uh, it wouldn't be an off-roading adventure if I didn't come off the bike. Never thought I'd enjoy this kind of stuff, being yeah. kind of off-road. My skills are non-existent. So apparently we're heading up to the top for lunch, so hopefully we'll get some good views. I've got dust all over this camera. Lunch over. Now we are getting ready for stage two. Hopefully this is mainly downhill, I think. Um, so, yeah, not the volcano, but on a different stretch. So a bit of off-roading. Hope they don't crash. Tell a kid not to do something. What happens? It's about 4.30, I'm back, I survived, and what a day, what a day. So massive thanks to Pete at Keo Bali for inviting me to um, go on his lava bike tour expedition. An amazing experience, something that I would obviously never be able to do in the UK. Um, completely out of control for most of the uh, downhill, but amazing fun. So if you're ever in Bali, make sure you do the Lava Bike Tour, KU Bali Bike Shop, um, definitely recommend it, amazing fun, amazing experience, do it. So that's going to be the end of the video, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up and uh, see you next time.